Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, we continue with our topic of discussion and this is genetics. So today I would like us to discuss something that is called linkage. Um, to understand uh, better uh, the meaning of the term linkage, I would uh, want to put a scenario, for example, whereby we know that uh, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes in every body cell, or we have 46 chromosomes in every somatic cell, every body cell. So if this is a cell, then inside there, or in the nucleus of that cell, we have 46 chromosomes. Then my question is, all the characteristics we have in our bodies, can they fit within the 46 chromosomes? Our characteristics are very many. The skin color, the height, the shape of the nose. There are so many characteristics. The color of the iris. Now, those characteristics, they are more than the 46 chromosomes that we have. And therefore, that means that we have several genes that control several traits being located on one chromosome. And that is why we say that the position within a chromosome where a gene is located is called the gene locus. So a chromosome has several gene loci. We don't call them locuses, but we call them loci. One is a locus, many loci. Now, so we are saying uh, that uh, if we have several genes within the same chromosome, we say that those genes are linked or they form what is called a linkage group. They form what is called a linkage group. Now, so those genes that are found on the same chromosome, they are said to be linked and they are transmitted together. They are transmitted together. So, <clears throat> so we are saying that uh, this is a situation where several genes are located on the same chromosome and uh, therefore transmitted together. They are therefore transmitted together. Located on the same chromosome and they are transmitted together. These genes located on the same chromosome are called linked genes. We refer to them as linked genes because they are located on the same chromosome. So linked genes are transmitted together. So they will be carried to the same gamete or they'll be transmitted to the same gamete. We have one organism or we have one animal that has been used in the genetic study and it has revealed very many similarities with the human beings. And this is called the fruit fly, also known as Drosophila melanogaster. Now, in Drosophila melanogaster, uh, for example, when you are doing the sex determination, uh, the male is XY, just like the human, and the female is XX, just like the case of the human. So we are saying that it has a lot of similarities with, uh, with the human. Or we can say that uh, the male one is heterogametic and the female is homogametic. Now, uh, in the case of the drosophila, uh, the gene that determines the, size, the length of the wings and the shape of the abdomen are found on the same chromosome. And that means that they are transmitted together. Even the gene that determines the color, 
the color of that particular insect. So the color of the insect, the shape of the abdomen, and uh, the length of the wings, all of them are linked together in the same chromosome. So we can say those genes are, we can say that those genes are linked. And therefore, they are inherited together. They are inher inherited together. So we are saying that example, in fruit fly, Drosophila. Melanogaster. That is a scientific name, so you must underline twice. It must, the genus name must start with a capital letter, and all the others, all the other letters should be small. So the gene for wing length, body color, and shape of the abdomen are located on the same chromosome. They are therefore said to be linked. Or form a linkage group. They are linked or they form a linkage group. So when genes occur on the same chromosome, and then they are transmitted together in the gamete, then we say that those genes are linked. We say those genes are linked. Then there is something else that we call sex linkage. Sex linkage is very close to linkage, or it's borrowed from linkage, in that this is whereby the genes are located on the same sex chromosome. They are located on the same sex chromosome. So you are saying that uh, this is a situation where genes that determine other traits in the body are located on the same sex chromosome and are transmitted together. They are transmitted together with those genes that determine sex. <coughs> so we are saying that sex linkage is a situation whereby where genes that determine other traits, other body traits, for example, even the skin color, no, no, for example, maybe the, something like the color blindness, are located on the same sex chromosome and are transmitted with those genes that determine sex. Now, for example, in human beings, a few genes are located on the Y chromosome. This means that they only show the traits
in males. So if, for example, some genes are linked to the Y chromosome, of course we know that females don't have the Y chromosome. So it's only the males. So that means that those genes will only reveal traits that are only found in males, e.g. premature baldness. That is a trait that is not, never seen in females. The baldness is only seen in males. And that is because uh, the genes that control baldness are found on the Y chromosome. Another example, the tufts of hair on the pinna of the ear or the hairy nose. The hairy nostril. So for example, we have seen that those males who have hairs on their ear pinna, that is a trait that is never found in females because that is something that is only located on the Y chromosome. Uh, something that uh, 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 like baldness is only found in males. We also have the hairy nostrils, the inside of the nose. You find that there is a lot of hair that sometimes even may get uh, to the point of getting out of the, the nostrils. So that is a trait that is only found in males because it is found on the Y chromosome. It's linked to the Y chromosome. <clears throat> We also have some traits, so we have many traits are, or many genes, genes control traits. <coughs> many genes are located on the X chromosome and are therefore found in both males and females. So if a certain trait is found in both males and females, then it means that it is linked to the X chromosome because both males and females have the X chromosome. So <coughs> e.g., Examples We can have genetic disorders genetic disorders e.g. color blindness and hemophilia and hemophilia are found in both males and females, in both males and females, that is, are linked to the X chromosome. They are linked to the X chromosome. So if a certain trait is linked to the X chromosome, then it means that it will be found in both males and females. For example, the color blindness and hemophilia. We'll get into details about color blindness and uh, hemophilia. But before that, let us have a short exercise. as an assignment. Number one, what is linkage? A, B, sex-linked genes. Number two, give two examples of traits that are linked to the Y chromosome. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>